Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're out here this morning. We have had some torrential bad rain. Uh, we've had some bad weather, some bad thunder and lightning. We had three inches of rain in like two hours. It was just a downpour. As a matter of fact, I'm sitting here right now. I think it's starting to sprinkle on me now. But anyway, what we got here, guys, it's time we pick our, our red rippers. We're just letting them go to seed now. So we're picking these, letting them dry make our seeds out of for next year and you know what the old cherokee tans out in the swamp down there in the garden starting to make uh we found them in the grass about three feet deep we got these cherokee tans here the rats in the deep grass are starting to nibble on the outsides of them so we decided we'd go ahead and get them out of there um we got one there got another one here see where they've been starting to nibble on the edges of that so Rather than lose them, we decided to go ahead and get them out. We'll just let them turn. Now, one of the things about the Cher Cherokee tan, you want to do is make sure you cut that stem as long as you can get it. That is the secret to curing one of these tan pumpkins. As we move on down, this is our blue Mochican Hopi corn. Uh, the animals will not leave it alone. We are, I mean, we're up to 19 coons and possums in a month. And they're still just keep, they just keep coming. We just keep catching and they keep coming. So evidently this is some really good tasting corn. So what we're doing is we're going ahead when it looks like this, we're going ahead and pulling it out of the fields, bringing it up, just letting it dry. Because if we don't, we're going to lose it all because we've already lost half of the field to, to wild animals. Um, so we're just experimenting this year, trying to get these old big pretty ears. I mean, those are, those are beautiful, just beautiful. We're trying to get them off and, uh, you know, we're going to try to dry them up here at the house and try to salvage as many of them for the seed as we can. We're not going to get anything for probably for cornmeal this year or anything, maybe a few, but not nothing like what we normally would. But guys, we're having some unusually crazy weather. It was 117 heat index yesterday. And then we had this because of the extreme heat. We had this massive storm system come through that uh, you'll hear in the background some of the lightning and thundering that we had. It was popping every five seconds, it seemed like, and it was bad. I mean, this wasn't like nothing in the distance. This was some serious, serious lightning and thundering that was going on here because it was just so hot, and it was trying to cool down in the weather. Uh, we, we just don't normally have this kind of weather here. I mean, it rains and it thunders and lightnings, but not like we had. We're just not used to that kind of weather here. I mean, when you get thunder and lightning that's popping as hard as that was popping every few seconds for like two and three hours, you know, these clouds building 30 and 40,000 feet up in the air because it's 117 degree heat index outside, you know, that's the kind of weather that we're going into with this solar minimum. It's just that when the weather gets hot, it's going to be extremely hot. When it gets to be cold, it's going to be extremely cold. It's the weather patterns. It's unusual weather patterns that's coming in. There's lots of data out there. You know, go watch Ice Age Farmer, Adapt 2030, Oppenheimer Ranch Project. You know, these kind of guys, these guys are telling the truth about what's going on. They're bringing up some things from all over the world is happening. This is not just right here. This is all over the world. I mean... You take yesterday evening, we'll show you a clip here of the gully it washed down here in just a couple of hours, that kind of rainfall on our land with our sandy soil. Now I gotta go in, that dirt's gone. It's all down in the swamp down here. I gotta go in and bring stuff in from somewhere else and try to fix that because now it's a major issue. So we've got all this stuff here we're having to deal with guys and this is what we're talking about, what we're going into in this age that we're living is extreme weather and trying to grow gardens, trying to grow your crops, trying to survive in extreme weather is going to get difficult in the near future. So stay tuned in Deep South Homestead as we try to work our way through this and try to show you all what we're doing to get through these extreme weather conditions. So thank you from Deep South Homestead.